Oh, boys and girls, it is the week before Christmas. And you know what that means. We're back at Forest Holidays, Sherwood Forest. That lovely building behind us is our home for the next nearly a week. We're going to go and have a little look around. I'm very excited. We came here last year. It was awesome. We were in a slightly bigger one this year because we were going to have the girls with us, but unfortunately, they've not been able to come college commitments and that kind of thing, work placements. So unfortunately, it is just the four of us, plus Dave, so me, Anna, Andy, Dave, and of course, short stay in a much bigger than last year, four bedroom, two story cabin that we absolutely don't need this much space. I've already had a quick look and unpacked the cart and it is awesome. Come have a look around. Now I love forest holidays because we can park right there unlike at centre parks where you have to park all the way around at the main car park so that is our parking space and this is our cabin that's our deck at the back there just completely in the middle of the woods surrounded by awesome nature very exciting let's go in and have a little look what we've got in a four bed two-story cabin so this is the little uh, shoe taking off coat hanging up area. We are not close to unpacked yet, so the place is going to be a little bit untidy. It's bags and Christmas presents and things everywhere. Um, I don't know what this is. That's the boiler cupboard. So this is the main living area. That is Dave, who as you can see, now wears clothes because Anna has lost her mind. Um, this is the main seating area, complete with Christmas tree and stuff to put on the Christmas tree and a dog. TV is there. Unlike last year, we have got the log burner this year as well. I've never used a log burner in my life, but it is minus one outside at like two o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, we're gonna be using that log burner later on today. Then we come through into this way and we have the kitchen and the enormous dining area and short stay. Um, as you can see, lots of kitchen stuff, lovely comfortable chairs. I tell you what, for getting the extra bedroom, you get an upgrade in all the gear compared to last year. We did do our usual, get the uh, starter grocery kit that costs a fortune, but it means we don't have to go to the supermarket immediately. That is full of marshmallows. Anna! I don't know. Marshmallows for doing on the barbecue later. I did say it That is so cool. I mean, that is an enormous dining table. Then out here, has short stay locked this? Out here we have our own dog safe deck. If you remember when we went to centre parks earlier in the year, our big moan about centre parks was that the, although it was a supposedly a dog safe cabin at centre parks, it wasn't actually a secure garden, so we couldn't just let Dave roam free. Here, things are a little bit different. And it is completely dog safe, complete with uh, the little eating area. We've got a proper gas barbecue, which we're going to be using at some point to do barbecuing, as you can imagine, and our own lovely private hot tub, which isn't warm yet. They said it wouldn't be warm until about six o'clock. What we don't have that we had last year is a way to separate Dave off from us when we're in the hot tub. So I think we have to leave him indoors when we're in the hot tub. Otherwise, he absolutely will be trying to join us in it. Proper coffee machine as well. That's an upgrade on the three bed one from last year. And then if we come down here, we have a lesser spotted wild Anna, who is looking at the boiler herself to see what she can see. I'm looking for another stay gate. Why? So I can have Andy to remote him, but this won't go in and pull, because he's only, the plugs are this side. Just put the stay gate over Andy's door, if it, or does it not come up? Because we don't need to stop Dave going upstairs, as long as the doors are shut up there. So down here we have, no, is it safe there. to go in Andy's room? Um, this is Andy's room. Andy, knock knock. Are you? Yeah, there you go. So Andy's got his own little two bedroom area. Yeah. Two bed area even. Short stay, are we safe to go in your room and have a little look? So this is, this is short stay's quarters. Double bed, in case he wants to bring a entertainment partner back with him. Um, we have a little ensuite shower situation. Dave just ran into the glass door on the shower. Yeah, he's just run straight into this glass door. Dave, come on out of here. This is short stage bathroom. You won't be seeing this again all week. Come on, shoot. Out, 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 out. Oh, double robes for short stay and a hairdryer. Come on, get off his Lovely stuff. old stuff. Get off his come on, uh, this is one of the main bathrooms. I think this is basically Andy's bathroom. 
Um, so bath, another shower in here, <laughs> toilet. <laughs> it is chaos in here. Did you just lock Dave in there? I want to see Lewis. This place is far too big for just us. I assure you, we were definitely supposed to have the girls with us as well. I just had to take them off the booking and take Lucy's car off the booking as well when we checked in at reception. So this is the landing landing area. And up here we have mine and Anna's room, which is stupidly big. Huge floor to ceiling window, looking over the garden and no more houses that way. We are right on the end. Little chair to sit in and look at the bed if we want to have a, uh, an audience, I guess. Count the chairs in here, boys and girls. So here we have mine and Anna's bathroom. So not ensuite, very sad, but shower for us. And this is the room which is not gonna be used at all. So this would have been for the girls. And uh, yeah, this will just be empty for the whole week. And from up here, I can peer down on short stay and see what he's up to. This is all right, isn't it? Need to get unpacked and have a look at what the food situation is because I think there's stuff in the fridge as well. Yeah, one thing I noticed is there's no way to block him off from the hot tub no. this year, so we'll have to leave him in the house when we're in there, or else he is going to be taking a bath. I was just about to say that. <laughs> We've got a place to put our robes this time though, <laughs> which is cool. They won't be on that side and get out. Yeah, it's freezing out here. Yeah. Right, I'm looking for the fridge to see what we ordered the barbecue pack as well, so we should have some meats and things. We've got butter. Um, oh, okay. Oh, there's okay. nothing in the freezer. Is there another fridge or something? Because we ordered the barbecue pack and there's no meat. No bacon, no breakfast. No. Nothing, really. We've got a few pastries. Um, we'll have to get in touch with them. Yeah, I feel like we're missing our food that we were supposed to have, which is not in any of these. Here, we've got. Yeah, but there's no bacon, there's no meat at all. Did it come with me? Yeah, I'm sure it did. I'll check the order. I'm sure there'll be, because we've got nothing to have for dinner here, unless we just want to have pastries. I mean, they've given us hot dog buns and burger buns. There must be the intention that we have something to put in them. So, there must be some meat somewhere. The nice low level lighting in here is lovely and cosy for when you're on holiday. It is a nightmare for trying to get an angle to actually shoot a video from, because it's dark everywhere. There's not even any lights on the Christmas tree. Last year we got a free Christmas tree with lights. This year we had to pay for the tree and the baubles. There's no lights and the baubles don't have any string on them so we're having to just kind of poke them onto the tree. I'm very upset so far. The meat is on its way over apparently. The butcher hasn't arrived yet. So I think it's because we've done the early check-in. Not everything is here yet. We didn't do that before. But like I say, we were trying to be fancy this year and fanciness once again has bitten us in the butthole. They've, uh, they've given up with the tree because we haven't got any strings to attach the decorations with. We're gonna go to Tesco in a bit because we need to get some of those. But more importantly, we're gonna need a long extension lead because there's no plug in the bedroom next to the bed, which means I won't be able to use my CPAP machine, which means Anna will murder me in my sleep and I might die, even if not from the murder. So we're gonna nip out in a bit. But first, we do have a pile of Christmas presents with us. And we're going to open some of those, even though the tree isn't appropriately treed up. I have, I've just explained why you couldn't be bothered to do the tree. Two from Anna. You got yourself a present, that's from me. I probably paid for that, that's, that's from me. To Andy. Oh, a present for Andy. I wonder what it could be. There might be a theme on these presents that you'll spot fairly early on. Come on. Oh, have you got something for Dave? Pajamas! Some jammers! Holiday pajamas! <laughs> Have you got Dave any? No, I tried to. They didn't come. You know what it is. Wow. Yes, they've got your bedroom, isn't that cool? Lots of toys. Look. Lovely old PJs. Some lovely Jimmy jams for room. Who's next? Um, I'm going to be Goldberging all the way through this. Look at this. Frank. Yeah. Frank. Oh! This is because yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't how are the painkillers working out for you at the um, moment? Shivering at home. As Anna's going to be in the videos a lot over the next week, 
Um, should probably let you know now she is on some heavy duty painkillers and nerve blocking things and all sorts and it's basically pickling her brain. So if she seems like she can't speak, that's why she can't speak. Leave her alone in the comments section or I'll come for you! Oh, has Andy got something else? More pyjamas! Goodness me, who'd have thought? <laughs> hope you've put the... Hey, you there! Yes? As you put to Anna from Anna, I hope you've told Short Stay that's just from Kevin. Kevin, Oh, I see, she's taking the claim. I just bought you that because I thought it was nice. That was all me. It wasn't just because... Did you wrap it? No, it wasn't, it wasn't just because I was ordering on the boots three for two and I had a freebie to get. <laughs> it was, it's the thought that counts. Smelly things! How many gifts have you got yourself? Have I got something over here? Right, film me. All of my presents this year are going to be in this carrot paper that I did request. Again. Take my trousers off and put no. them on the tray. I've got some gym jams, everybody! Oh, studio gym jams for when I'm in the studio. Thank you very much, Santa. <laughs> You're gonna smell like a thing. Ted, like a Ted. He's gonna smell like Ted. Teddy B. So you got yourself like five presents there, it seems. <laughs> I mean, we've got no, you just had the pajamas. Yeah. You can go back to your room if you want. <laughs> You're excused. Yeah. You want to see this? So, yeah, right? There's no more presents because that's mommy's. It's pajamas. This is mommy's and this is. Pajamas! pajamas. So we can all sit around and have gym jams later. And have a gym jam circle. Again, this is fluffy, so you are not shivering. I've never had pajamas, so. Well, you're going to be jammed up big style <laughs> later on. You're going to be sweating <laughs> in your sleep. <laughs> What you got there? Well, this is for Lewis. Do you want to open it? Yeah. Can he open it? Yeah, of course. Open it for Lewis. You okay, open it. Hi. Thank you very much. What's this one then? It's in it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Can you hold your phone? Oh. There you go. Open it for Lewis. Oh. Look at that! It's socks! Socks! <laughs> There's a pair on the floor. There you go. Oh, beer socks again. I love these. Beer socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the way he says again, as if beer socks are a normal thing that people I'm, have. I think you've got them before. You're a madman. I've got some different ones. <laughs> the only, like, the camels had the beer socks. I didn't really know I was going to do that, but... Oh, I, don't I don't know if they'll fit, but they're... Beer socks. Beer socks. Right, let's see what I got you. You've got me nothing. I, I got you some jammers by the looks of it. Why have you got two lots? I've got myself two of these pyjamas, Kevin. How many pyjamas are you planning on wearing this week? Uh, I've got these ones. Let's play. Is that... Oh, let's okay. Let's get married. Well, oh, it's going to be a YouTube theme. Let's play. <laughs> huh? Let's play. Right. And then... Well, let's be having you because you're a policeman. I've got socks, a fluffy top, a fluffy bottoms. Those, no, those no, ones look like expensive. Do you, do you I've treated socks? you well there. Pardon? How do you say socks? Socks. Yeah, you say it from there. No, I don't. You do. She does. Socks. You say a lot of things, funny. Yeah, oh, like... while we're videoing, can you both say Rudolph, please? Rudolph. <laughs> I love it. Rudolph. Lovely northern people with their garbled mouths. So, in a change to our advertised activities, we're going to go and find the nearest Tesco, grab an extension lead and do our shopping for the week now that we were going to do tomorrow morning. Which is just as well, because we just found out that the snowman and the snow dog afternoon tea that we thought we had booked for another day is actually booked for tomorrow lunchtime. So we probably didn't have time to go out to Tesco in the morning anyway. So I'm not sure where the nearest Tesco is. I think it's in Mansfield, which is about 15 minutes away, I think. Google Maps will be our friend. And it's just giving short stay all the instructions he needs to look after Andy, despite the fact he's done it a gazillion times before.
watch the daily vlogs like five years ago. It's me stood outside of Tesco. This is proper nostalgic, I'm sure. Anna, that's a particularly stylish hoodie you're wearing. Where did you get such a cool item? From Kevin. Did you go to the store page on youtube.com slash Lelujo and buy yourself do a football match? I did. Great stuff, it's really cool. <laughs> Ask me again. Why are we Because if I have the opportunity to use the escalator in Tesco, I use the escalator in Tesco. Yeah, we're coming back down. We're just gonna loop back down and come back down again. I just like to use the, uh, the trolley escalators. When else do you get the opportunity to do this? It's great fun. Boys and girls, four pack of Christmas gingerbread style Avengers. Should be 44 pounds. With club card, only 20 quid. Compulsory purchase, even though the car was completely rammed and we've got no way to get it home. About two hours later, this is why we don't bring Anna. When I did this with Short Stay last year, it took us half an hour and we spent about 30 quid. She is a monster. <laughs> We're back, but we've had a little bit of a catastrophe because some idiot smashed a bottle of vinegar on the floor that we'd just bought. So there's vinegar and glass everywhere. So Dave's had to go outside. And I've been sent over here out the way where I can't cause any more damage. And basically to protect us in case the, the idiot comes back who smashed the vinegar. And I'll protect us from him while these two deal with the problem. Hello boys and girls, I've got a torch shining in my face. Um, I'm currently outside. There is a barbecue behind me, I don't know if you can see it. We're going to be doing some barbecue food. We've got some burgers, we've got some sausages, we've got some onions on there as well. There's a hot tub next to me that's not yet of temperature. And just here, look, you can see mine and Anna's bedroom. There we go, which is very pleasant. It's really dark out here and there's no outdoor lighting at all. The torch has been retired, much better solution. From in the camera bag, I have an Elgato key light mini on a tripod. I only have one tripod with me, whereas I could have a I've got two of these lights with me, I can have another one over there, but this is illuminating everything exactly the way I need it. The benefits of being a vloggy boy who carries too much camera gear with him. That thing is kicking out some light out here. That's, it's like barbecuing in daylight now. Well, after much freezing my nuts off outside, it was all worth it because we have dinner. We have cheeseburger, we have a hot dog, we have some salad. A menagerie of sauces and the world's longest table. Hello down there, Andy. Yeah. This is a big table. I mean, Andy are the kings of the table. Folks, I've just fallen in love with a coffee machine. I think I need to buy a new one. It's an espresso, like what I've got at home, but has these big fat pods in, and it sounds like a Hoover. These are the ones that I use at home for comparison. It sounded like a Hoover. Where's my coffee gone? She's stolen it. And rather than giving you a little espresso shot, it makes a full mug of coffee. <laughs> Which genuinely tastes amazing. Anna, I need to buy a new coffee machine. No, you're not. I'm getting a new coffee machine. No, you're not. Nespresso, hook me up. Now, boys and girls, as you'll know, I am a particularly manly man. And I'm about to demonstrate my extraordinary manliness by building a fire. Which I've never done before. I fire. Yeah. Oops. What does this tool do? Um, so I guess we open this up, the fire has teeth, so I guess we put the, the wood in the teeth. Is it hot in there? I don't know if the teeth would... Right, so we've got a bag of small sticks, we've got natural fire lighters, renewable untreated wood shavings, and then we've got big fat tree trunk, trunk log things. So I'm guessing we use a few small ones and then a big one. Do we? Do we think? I don't know. We're gonna figure this out. Cut to a roaring fire or cabin on fire, depending on which one happens. Right, it said build a pyramid out of the small bits of wood and then put the fire lighters in the middle. That's basically as close to a pyramid as I can get. So I'm going to light that and then build a pyramid around it once the fire is on and it will be fine. Right, there is a flame in there. I'm not going to call this a fire until this log is on fire. That's my goal. Set fire to that log. Here we go then, boys and girls. Big log is going in. Not to be confused with the big dog, Roman Reigns. This is the big log. Ugh. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look, but I'm just gonna shut the door and pretend it's fine. Well, folks, I'm not an expert, but I think that big log is on fire. Therefore, I made a fire! I'm the fire 
Firestarter, the twisted Firestarter. Look at it go. I am a real boy. That is genuinely on fire. <laughs> Look at it at the top there. That is 100% on fire. What a man. Well, yeah. boys and girls. I don't know what it is. We are in the hot That's tub. Light color. Uh. As you pulled that off the light. I don't know what that is. We've already broken the hot tub. We are in the hot tub. It is zero degrees out here, but we are in the hot tub. It is lovely and warm. We've got the light set up over there again. I tell you what, this hot tub is considerably bigger than the one we had last year. I can strongly recommend accidentally booking a four bed. This is awesome. Yeah, there's so much space in here. There's a female look. There we have two more males. It's because of all the steam on the lens. It's so steamy in here. It's zero, well, it's, let, it's probably minus one now. Of, uh, there you go, that's better. Now I've got my hand moved. It's probably minus one, just atmosphere. And we're in a bubbling hot, steaming hot tub. So it's probably not the best conditions to be using a GoPro and the lamp. And I imagine the microphone's so wrecked that you can't even hear what I'm saying anyway. But we've been in here ages. My fingers were wrinkly. I don't ever want to get out. It's so warm, so warm. But then I've got my log fire in the house. So I want to go and sit with that as well. Oh, it's all so complicated. One delightful hot tub and shower later. And I think it's time for me to try some alcohol free gin. I've not drunk alcohol in about five years. Um, I just started getting really bad allergic reactions to it whenever I drank anything. Started with beer, went on to wine, went on to everything else. I just couldn't drink at all anymore. So I haven't drank anything alcoholic for, like I say, about five years. But I did used to enjoy a gin and tonic. Looking back, I never really particularly liked beer. I don't miss beer, don't miss wine, do miss a G&T, do miss a cocktail. So I occasionally have a mocktail when I'm out and about. But we saw this in Tesco, so I'm gonna try an alcohol-free gin and tonic. I'm a little bit worried this is the most expensive bottle of squash I've ever bought because it's 0% alcohol gin. This cost 14 pounds for a bottle of gin that has no alcohol in it. But if it tastes like a proper gin and tonic, then that's gotta be a win. So here you go then, the verdict. I've certainly given it a fair crack of the whip. We've used Fever Tree Tonic, which I remember from my gin and tonic days was the best tonic. Um, we have lime, always better in a gin and tonic than lemon. I even bought a brand new poo cup to put it in and smells like a gin and tonic. We've got the big slow melting ice cubes as well so it doesn't get watered down. Just tastes like tonic. That's not worth 14 quid, I'm not having that at all. It's just tonic. I'll just stick to sparkling water, I think. And with that, boys and girls, it's half past nine, which, when you're on holiday, is pretty late. Especially when I need to get this footage uploaded to editor Chris, so he can get this video out for you this week. And uh, the rest of this series will probably come out weekly. There'll be a little bit of an interruption for actual Christmas as well. So you're probably gonna see us coming and throwing, coming and throwing, toing and throwing from here for the next month or so on the channel. So hopefully you enjoy this kind of content. It's so hot in here with that fire on over there, by the way. How do you put a fire out? I need a glass of water. Um, but I'm gonna get this footage uploaded to Chris and then we are gonna sit in front of said blazing hot fire and watch the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special on Disney Plus that we've managed to avoid completely. We don't even know how long it is. And then probably gonna go to bed. So thank you for watching. We'll see you again very soon.